learning outcomes for the module on catheter sample of urine. In this module, we will cover the following points. Learning the elaborate technique of sharing the procedure instructions with the patient. Conducting the procedure in a step-by-step -step manner with accuracy. Guiding the patient about the next steps. Maintaining the transparency of communication. This procedure I'm going to demonstrate is taking a urine sample from a catheter and it's a quick procedure. I'm just going to go through the steps. We don't have to do the whole identity check with this one either. They just want to see you do the procedure correctly and safely. Okay, so I'm going to go through the steps. Um, I would do hand hygiene. So I would still declare the area safe and I'll do seven steps of hand hygiene. And I've already introduced myself. Um, I've checked the identity of the patient. It's all correct, the allergy status, they're comfortable. And I've screened the area for privacy and dignity and I explained to the patient I'm taking a sample from the catheter and they were quite happy with it. So I'm gonna leave the patient now and I'm gonna go and um, get my equipment together. So when I leave the patient area, I would again dry my hands quickly. Uh, I would assume this tray has been washed with soap and water in the past 24 hours. And I'll put some gloves on just to protect my hands while I clean the tray with alcohol wipes. Just a quick clean. And that'll go in the clinical waste. So the equipment I need would be a 10 ml syringe. Um, it's intact and it's in date till the second 24 and I'm going to need some clamps. There's a couple of pairs of clamps here. Um, I'd give them a quick wipe. Choose the clamps I want and give them a quick wipe. Leave them in the tray to um, dry for 30 seconds and I want to take two uh, alcohol swabs which are intact and in date till 9.22, 9.22. So I'll take them with me. I'll take their urine sample part, which will be labelled correctly. And I'm going to take that. I need to take three pairs of gloves. So two, three, four, five, six gloves. I'll get rid of these ones. And I would gel my hands. And I'll go back to the patient now. So I'm back again now. I'm going to uh, take a sample out of your catheter. So is it okay for me to expose the area? Patients agreed that it's okay. So I would don my gloves. Don't touch the catheter without gloves on, ever. And the catheter is strapped to the patient's leg. So I am going to apply a clamp to the catheter between the port and the urine tube going into the bag. So apply that clamp. And I would now get rid of the gloves into the yellow um, clinical waste bin. And I would gel my hands. I'm just going to open the syringe, ready, at the plunger end. And I'm going to take the lid off the 
urine sample part, but place it back on to keep it nice and clean and sterile. I'm going to open my first white ready. So, these two things can be done at once. You can hold the uh, syringe in your hand and you can hold the alcohol wipe in the other hand and clean the port now. So, that would be done for 30 seconds and I'll assume 30 seconds is gone and it can go back into that tray. 30 seconds to dry. Taking this syringe out of the packaging applying it to the needle-free port and I, there's urine in the, in the tube now obviously so I would take 10 mils of urine, transfer it over to the urine sample pot, keeping the lid facing upwards and don't let the end of the syringe touch the inside of the bottle. Put the lid on so it's nice and secure, no leakage. And I would now take these gloves off, put them in the clinical waste, gel my hands again, apply new gloves, take the last wipe, and I'm just going to clean the uh, port again. So I'd clean that port for 30 seconds and allow 30 seconds to dry. Unclamp the catheter, it's very important. So I'm just going to recover the patient up and I'm gonna take the gloves off. Any uh, rubbish out the tray can go in the clinical waste with the gloves. Um, in fact, with the apron as well. So I would just to advise the patient to drink plenty of water, two to three litres is advisable. Um, light exercise is good when you have a catheter in. Any signs of urine infection would be pain, discoloured urine. If it was severe, you could feel unwell, you could feel shivery, nauseous, um, any unusual discharge or any pain, just to let us know. Um, and the sample would be then sent to the laboratory and anything that comes back in the tests, the doctor would tell the patient if there's any changes in their treatment. And I will now take this stuff away, get rid of the tray um, to clean it and the clamps. And I would write on the patient's notes what I've been, uh, what I've taken the sample um, and give them the buzzer and tell them that I'll come back to see them within an hour or two and to use the buzzer if they need us before then. And Obviously, I would gel my hands as the final part of the procedure. And that is your sampling. <laughs>